Hello, hello, good evening. Can anybody hear me? Janari, Diana? Hello, teacher. Hi, okay. I thought, I thought you didn't hear me. What happened yesterday, Yanari? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. How are Thank you doing? You. I'm finish my, finishing my dinner, teacher. I'm going to Ooh. turn on my camera in some minutes. Okay, okay. Yes. Bon appetit. Thank you. Laura and Diana, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi, all. Hello. Hello. Are you Hello, working right now? No, I am at home. Okay, that's nice. So you can yeah, relax you. more. <laughs> yes. Very good. So we're going to get started in a couple of minutes. Teacher, I have some problems with the exercise 2.11 as our classmates were talking about yesterday in the chat room mm -hmm. in WhatsApp. But I don't know why, because I, I try to make the correct uh, question and sentence and always mark like it's wrong. Mm. I don't know why. I will check it out and I will let you know. I would like to, to share the, the, the screen. Can I? Maybe you can send, maybe you can send me a, a screenshot directly okay. to me so I can check it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, Maritza, Miguel, and Juan Jose. Good evening. Jessica has some internet connection problems. Can you hear me? Um, Juan Jose, Miguel Angel, Blanca, Ruth. I hear you, I have the phone, my microphone off. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, Blanca, how's the energy today? What's good? Uh, I traveled to Takakoyo and it was really good. Really good, mm. I love okay, it. Okay, I don't know, I don't know that place, I think. Sakakoya. I think it's in Sonsonate, but I mm. don't, I don't know, right? Because mm -hmm. it's in La Libertad or Sonsonate. I don't know, but okay. it's almost there. I don't know. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so we're going to get started. Uh, as you remember, yesterday I told you that today we are going to share, okay, what you were 
discussing in the in the groups. We're going to have the second part of the trivia, as, as I promised. And um, we are going to be working on some procedures, okay, and some specific procedures. So we're going to learn some new vocabulary or um, let's say expressions that are related to that. Got it. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance uh, so we know who's here right now and who's missing. The first person in the list we know that is Beatriz. Beatriz, no. So we continue with Elizabeth. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Uh, Mariela. Not here yet. So we continue with um, Brenda. Carla. Uh, Diana. Present. Okay, perfect. Floor. I'm here, teacher. There you go. Uh, Francisco. Good evening, present teacher. Good evening. Glenda. Laura. Present teacher. Okay, there you go. Harvin. Jennifer is... I'm here, teacher. Okay. Juan Jose. I'm here. Karen. Okay. Uh, Maritza. Merlin. Miguel Angel. I'm here, teacher. Rolando, Ruth, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Suleima. Sorry, uh, Janari. I'm here. Okay, Jackie. I'm here. Blanca. Freddy's. I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. Okay, okay, there you go. So, uh, we're ready to go. Give me, let me check. Okay, geography and history. That That is the category that we're going to have today. Okay, Rolando, it's writing in the chat. Okay, perfect. Um, let me disconnect from my phone so that I have better reception in my computer. Yeah, better. So we're going to get started. Um, first of all, I'm going to share the screen so that we can recap what we were doing in the last session. I know that you remember, so it's going to be easy. Okay, so here it is. Where is it? Wait, is it? Wait a second. Here. Okay, perfect. So, uh, what do you remember from yesterday's class? Suggestions. Suggestions? We are talking about 
uh, manual procedures. Uh -huh. I remember that, manual procedures. What else? What do you say about manual procedures or procedure manuals? I know some people say that, that you didn't have one, right? In particular, in your, in your, in where you work. But, but even though you don't have one, you commented about the importance and what elements should be included there, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, yes. So um, that's what you were doing, you were discussing, and then? Practice the conversation. You practice the conversation in groups and you created your own, your own conversation, okay? So uh, in order to remember, okay, who was next, who was first, okay? So, well, this was yesterday. Okay, these are the groups. In the first group, we had Elizabeth, Mariela, Blanca, and Harvin. So the second one is was Brenda, Carla, Freddy's, and Jennifer. It's strange because I'm getting a call from an unknown number, an unknown number. Okay, don't answer unknown number calls. So uh, we're going to uh, move on. Group number three was composed by Diana, uh, Laura, Jackie, Miguel Angel. Then in the room four was Flor, Francisco, Juan Jose, Maritza, and Suleima. And the last one we have Beatriz working with Karen. So that was what, what we had last time, last night to be precise. Okay, so uh, that was yesterday's lesson. And uh, in today's session, we're going to learn how to use, right? Would be better. So, um, from the group number one, Elizabeth, Mariela, uh, Blanca, and Harvin, do we have the majority of the members of the team here or not? Uh, okay, hello, teacher. Okay, Harvin is here. Uh, Mariela is here now, Blanca too, and Elizabeth. So, perfect, the four members are here. Are you ready? Yes, but yesterday, teacher, we don't make a conversation, be honest. We were uh -huh. talking. I can explain the, 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 the exercise that we do. Yesterday, okay. we, we explained the procedures that mm -hmm. we have in our, in our, in our workplace. Mm -hmm. And we choose the best option to include in the in the all the in the all the companies. Okay. For, ex, for example, we were talking that in the old place is so common see the security person taking the temperature. And yeah. someone says, Would it couldn't it be better if we installed a camera? to check the temperature. Mm, that's a really good option. Uh -huh. Yes, and the another one was uh, when everyone go to in uh, uh, some place, they have to use uh, alcohol. Mm -hmm. So we want to use the technology and use a uh, automatic machine that uh -huh. when you put your hand, the uh -huh. alcohol the alcohol is in your, I fall down in your, in your, in your hand, in your hand. Okay. Yes. So it could be better than use the, the, the normal machine that you have to, to touch. Or the bottle, uh -huh, or the yes. bottle that you have to touch. Okay. Perfect. That's so what the, so that's basically what you create, you discuss about what would be better, right? For yes. uh, using technology in order to prevent or follow the measures for the COVID. Okay, got it. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, some claps for the, a round of applause for the group number one. Reactions on the screen and I'm going to use a thumbs up. 
So the second group was uh, Brenda, Carla, Freddy's, and Jennifer. Let me check if all the members are here. I see Freddy's. Uh, uh -huh. uh, Brenda just called me and, and told me that she doesn't have internet, internet connection because maybe it's a problem in the sun. Oh, okay. So maybe she was the one calling me <laughs> uh, for that emergency. So Brenda is not available. And I think we're missing Carla. Carla as well. So can you please just comment uh, what you were discussing or working on? Uh, yeah, uh, if you want, we can read the conversation with Freddy. Okay. That would be great. Just one second, please. Praise, praise is surprise, like, uh, which conversation? <laughs> ready? are you ready? You ready? Okay, that's a that's a that's an expression in English. Are you ready, Freddy? I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. What I tell what I tell people with that question is, or to answer in that question is. I was born ready. I was born ready. When somebody asks, are you ready? I was born ready. So uh, that means 100%, right? Always ready. Yeah. So um, let us know when you're ready and we start. We listen to you. So when we were talking about yesterday, I made, uh, I made a conversation. Mm -hmm. So... I made it similar to the one that we read yesterday. So let me let me read it to you. So I wrote, we need to uh, create. Wait a second. Ah, Jennifer said that she cannot share the screen. She was going yes, to share the screen. Uh -huh. Because you're ah, sharing you, the so screen. So let me, let me stop sharing and you try it out. Okay, thank you. Go now. We will read one box uh, by one because uh, our classmates, there, they are not here. That's right. Okay, so you and, and Jennifer take turns. Ready? So she's, she's going to share right now. Yeah, she's going to share the screen so everybody can see it. That is... Really good, right? So we we know. Uh, wow, it looks so beautiful. Professional experience. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. That is using technology in your favor. Okay. Okay, uh, Freddie. If you want, you can be the first. Yeah. I agree with Thank Harvin's you. reaction. We have That's the same. <laughs> okay, we. I start. We need to create a menu that helps employees to avoid the COVID-19 in our workplace because it's very important for our health employees. I agree. First, we need to create a list of steps to follow in, our, in order to prevent the coronavirus. I propose to disinfect objects and surface in our workplace. Mm -hmm. I consider the first step should be set as sanitizing space in the entry, applying alcohol in their hands, disinfecting the shoes. It's, it is so important to be free of virus since the entry. Good. Besides, that would be a good idea that the employees eat in if they launch at different different times, one group can go out at 12 p.m. and the other one at 1 p.m. And pretty much that's it. Ta-da! Okay, <laughs> congratulations. That, reserve, that deserves a big round of applauses. Awesome. Can you show the other slide that you have there above? The second uh, one? Are this for the first 
homework. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So yeah. you are putting them together. I do Excellent. All in the same file. Documents. Because in this way, I can say all together. Wow, that was that's a really good good idea, right? To put everything together so when you finish the course, you remember, right? Okay, so this is the presentation yeah. or this is the information from the course number one. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. You can use Thanks. your reactions. Okay, and we continue with the group number three. Okay, so way to go, guys. Way to go. Uh, group number three, we have Diana, Laura, Jackie, and Miguel Angel. Hmm, Jack is smiling like, okay, this You're will be interesting. You're going to choose the, <laughs> the one or? Uh, how do you plan the conversation or the dialogue or the meeting? Uh, we talk about the, the manual procedure that we, we will implement in the case we have, uh, we're working in a bank. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know. Uh, we talk, um, I mean, the four, in the four members, I don't know if you going to choose one of them. Uh, I mean, if you have it like a conversation and everybody ha took notes, you can do no. it like that. No. If uh, only one person has information, you can share it with us. Um, or two we people can We're just talking. You just talked, okay, so. We were just talking, uh -huh. Okay. So one of you can do it. Okay, I'm gonna talk. <laughs> okay, uh, we were talking if we were working in a bank, mm -hmm. we were implement this manual procedure that our bank is a little bit big. So we can attend 20 people inside. Um, assist. And we are going to assist. Sorry, uh -huh. and we are going to have someone that is a guide uh, the customers where they have to sit. And first, when when the customers get into the bank, they uh, take the temperature, sanitizing uh, hands and shoes, and mm -hmm. after um, guide guide him or her to the to the chair right and we are going to ask for everybody uh, brings everyone brings a, a pen for signed uh, personal documents because we don't know if we we have someone that it's with COVID but without symptoms using our pens and all the things. And outside of the bank, we're going to have 10, 10 people in line uh, taking two meters of distance to get into the bank. And to get into the bank. It. Okay, perfect. Thank you for sharing group number three. Uh, congrats, we use the reactions, don't forget about that. And- uh, Teacher. Next, hello. Teacher, excuse me, excuse me, teacher. Tell me. I I have I have a question about talking uh, about yesterday. Uh, uh -huh. What is the difference uh, between clients or customers? What is the difference? Okay, so um, I think someone will help me out for that. Let's see who remembers the difference between these two. Um, Blanca. Yes. Uh, well, client is when you treat a person, a person by person, uh, I don't know, business, like a lawyer, like a doctor. Well, I, I don't know if a doctor. Well, it's a person person uh -huh. relationship. But when you have a service, you can call that they, you can call the customer, like hotel, and like restaurants, they are customers. But uh -huh. when it's a treatment like person, person, I, well, that's, that's how I understand the, the, 
the relation. When you are person a person relationship is a client. I think. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, definitely. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So yes, uh, for example, uh, the places where that have customers are restaurants, hotels, uh, we have bars, cafes, banks, uh, call centers, stores, uh, amusement parks. Uh, I mean, uh, any kind of place where you can buy a, a product or a service, you can pay for that. Uh, you are a customer. But the, the one that is a client is, a, well, they are the people who receive um, professional or very technical help or assistance. Uh, but focus on services, right? For example, the, what Blanca was saying, right? Accountants, uh, lawyers, uh, people who work for uh, marketing agencies, for example, or at the hospital, okay? Uh, like you can, you can say that it's, your, it's a client, right? Because they are just paying you for a specific service that you're providing in that moment. Um, but it's very technical, right? Uh, when you go to a studio, right? So that is basically one of the differences between these two. Uh, I think I'm going to share, to look for something that I can share with you later so that you can have a, a clearer image, right? Of what difference is. And now let me check. I was going to share with you the next one. And here it is. So from your group, uh, who is going to share? Number four. Or everybody. I can't, I can speak for my group. Sure, yeah. Okay, um, Francisco, for example, um, say that the best, uh, uh, for the best security for the people is uh, necessary to, uh, um, he proposed that um, select, to select a area where uh, a one, um, or the people stay, in a specific area uh, mm -hmm. and other spaces um, to keep healthy uh, for more security. Um, wouldn't it be, uh, in my case, I say, would it be to put signals in each area um, from the company? It's, it's very important, it's, it's necessary too. Uh, mm -hmm. Flor mm -hmm. said it will be better to company um, uh, to keep alcohol held and mask uh, correctly. Um, and it is important to make people conscient uh, for to um, a culture. It's a culture and conscient uh, for the virus, not um, um, virus to content to contain the virus. Um, I, I that's only remember that my groups. Okay, yeah, I remember that you were discussing those points. Uh, thank you so much, Juan Jose. Let's give him a reaction, please. I'm going to choose thumbs up for this one. So thank you so much. And the, uh, one of the last ones is the group number five. That was Anna, Karen, and Merlin. Ana Beatriz, okay, and Karen. I remember that you were discussing about that and I was listening to you for a moment. Okay. We have a conversation teaching with Carla. Marilyn didn't participate yesterday. Yeah, she I had think... some, yeah, she had some, uh, well, she was working, I think, at that, at that moment. Yes, mm -hmm. she, she wasn't available yeah, that's yesterday. Right. I don't know if Carla is in the group. Carla, are you Karen. available? Karen, yeah. It was Karen, not yeah. Carla, it was me. It was yeah, Karen, yeah, Karen, I see you. I'm here, but, but you take the notes. 
So maybe you can share, Ana Beatriz, the information that we prepared last night? Yeah, we have a, a little conversation before. Remember, we can practice the, the conversation about the step that we have and uh, that we prepared yesterday. Are you agree, Karen? Do you yes. agree? Yes. Okay. okay. I'm going to start with the conversation. Hi, Carla. How are you today? But I don't. I don't have here the notes. I'm going to. I'm going to share the. I'm going. I'm going to. To share the screen. Say the note. Say, ah. say the note. Okay. Okay. Uh, we need to create the main text to include in our manual and we need to create create a new procedure about COVID. Uh, Yesterday we talked with Karen with different steps like this. Uh, take temperature when the people visit visit us uh, or visit the, the company. Use a sanitizer's hands and use a, a mask all the time, but, but the people is the employees, they had to use, they, they had to, to use masks all the time and take temperatures too and use a sanitizer hand. Uh, if you have symptoms, uh, it's, better, it's better to stay at home. And, and if somebody at home has, has symptoms too, uh, you have to stay at home too. If you want to call, come back to the office, you have to, to make a test. And the test is going to be negative for come to, to a work again. And that's it. Okay, there you go. So that was a conversation that you had in the group number five. Let's use the reactions and we move on to the, to the second part of the activity that we had the last time. Okay, thank you so much. So I think that now you have a clear idea about the importance of a manual, a procedure manual in a company. And uh, even if you don't have it, uh, now you have a very uh, important elements. Well, the, the the important elements that you could include, right, in a manual. So I'm going to share the screen right away. Give me just a second. Okay, so um, here it is. I'm not sure if I am sharing the, the sound. I think I'm not, so I'm going to share the screen one more time. So uh, for this, I will need three new volunteers, right? Remember the last time we have three volunteers and if they didn't know, they asked somebody else in specific or they asked for help and somebody raised a hand, right? To, to guess the answer. So the topic is uh, geography and history. We have Juan Jose uh, as the first volunteer. Uh, the second one is Rolando and the third one is Francisco. So we have three boys who raise their hand first this time. Okay. I think last time the majority were girls, right? So pay attention, right? So in case one of them doesn't know the answer, you can raise your hand and answer. So um, we go with Juan Jose first. The category is geography and history. But let me stop sharing. I will share again because I need to include the audio. Share the sound. And is ready. So, Juan Jose? Yes. History for 100, 200, or 300? Um, 200. 200, okay. Beirut is the capital of which country? It's Nairobi. No. Google, right? Don't don't look for Google. Uh huh. Nairobi. No. Peru. No. Lebanon. Russia. No Spanish. <laughs> Some country have to say them in English. So, yes, right? I think that it's Lebanon. Uh, I think it's Lebanon. 
They do this. It's Lebanon. That's correct. Lebanon, Lebanon that's a country. Lebanon. Excellent. So thank you so much uh, for your participation. I'm going to use a reaction that is a little bit sad. Aww. Okay. So we continue with the next one. Rolando, welcome. So which one do you choose? 100 oh. or 300? Uh, 100. Okay, the tallest building in the world is located in which city? Um, uh, I know that answer. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's in Qatar. It's in Qatar. city? Ah, Dubai. 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 Uh huh. Okay. Du yeah. Very good. <laughs> so that was that was correct. And now we give the chance to Francisco. <laughs> 300, Francisco, there are no more options here. So um, in the Bible, which character is known for building an ark? That was easy. You have to say, you have to, you have to say it in English, no Spanish. Character. Uh, the, the, the two, I, I don't know. You don't know. With, with an N. <laughs> N O E. N O E. Start with an N, with an N, and finish with an E. <laughs> uh, the middle, the middle is an O. It's Noah. Noah. <laughs> no. That's right. Okay, so that was the correct answer. Okay, Noah. So 300 was very easy, that one. Yeah, sometimes it's easy, sometimes uh, it's not. Yeah, I think okay. it, is, it was uh, hard, this question, for the reason <laughs> I don't select. I didn't select this. Well, <laughs> but this sometimes really things, di things are different. So now uh, we're done with the geography and history. We'll continue uh, tomorrow with science. So you can do, read a little bit about that, right? So, uh, and then on Thursday, we'll have technology. Yeah, now, continue, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do technology. I like technology. <laughs> so do I. I love technology. Uh, technology <laughs> make, makes our lives easier. Now we're going to uh, go on. And well, here's what we have. Uh, right now, what you're going to do uh, is to do some research, okay? What do you see on your screen right now? The trivia, <laughs> kidding, <laughs> uh, uh, paid work. Okay, that's correct. So uh, basically the indication is very simple. Uh, I will ask, uh, let me check. Ruth, can you please help me to read the indications? Uh, read the contents in a server's training manual. Uh, organize the topics to create the index of the manual on the right. Then present your index to the class and explain the reasons for your choice. Okay, that's correct. So um, you're going to investigate. Okay, you're going to investigate. What is the meaning? What is the meaning of these uh, steps, right? Of these uh, procedures? First of all, uh, we're going to um, practice pronunciation, okay? Uh, the first one is setting a table, okay? Setting a table. The second one is decanting wine, decanting wine. You're going to remember this one. Uh, I think somebody mentioned that yesterday. Uh, number three, requesting a shift change. Requesting a shift change. Four, following the schedule. Following the schedule. Uh, that's number four. Then uh, number five is addressing kitchen personnel, addressing kitchen personnel. Number six, 
getting to know the menu, getting to know the menu. Number seven, dress code, dress code. Number eight, addressing customers, addressing customers. Number nine, about tips and taxes, about tips and taxes. And last but not least, prevention of accidents and safety. So what are you going to do right now? You're going to do two things. Number one, you are going to investigate or try to define or give a definition for every step in the manual, every procedure, okay? So what is setting a table? Imagine that, that you have to explain this to someone that is a new employee, right, a new worker. I'm sorry, what is setting a table? So you have to give a definition. Ah, setting a table is when you prepare the table for the customers. You put on a tablecloth, uh, the dishes, uh, you try to match everything, right? The napkins and all the things that the customers are going to use when they come to eat. So that's the definition. You have to create it. If you find it on the internet, good. If not, you create it. But for that, you are going to work in pairs. So you are going to create a, a definition. So you take notes, right, in your notebook. What is the definition for each of these steps, okay? And then you are going to organize them, okay? To create the index of the manual on the right, okay? What is going to be the index? In which order are you going to put these procedures? Why? So uh, in your opinion, what would be a, a logical order, order for this? So that's what you're going to discuss with your partner and you're going to write them down in the order that you agree, okay? So uh, this will take you some time, okay? Because first you have to write down the definition for every procedure and then you have to put them or organize them in the correct order according to your opinion. What would be a logical order to follow? So when you finish, okay, uh, you are going to come back and I am going to be asking everybody, right? Different questions, okay? What do you have first? Setting a table, why setting a table? Because this and this and this and this. So you have to give reasons for your decisions, for your order. So um, do you have any questions about this exercise? Yes, no, everything's clear like coffee. Um, we have to uh, describe every single step, but with our word. You can use your own words or you can find a uh, definition on the internet. That's okay. Okay. That's not a problem. Okay. Uh, preferably, you can write down your own, right? So you have the, you develop the ability of explaining things in English. So that is okay. really important. Uh, 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 I suppose it's necessary to explain in English. The, the, yes, the everything definition. in English, yeah. everything in English, no Spanish here. Yes, yeah. correct. Yes, this is another level, remember. So uh, the more you expose to the language, the better you become, the more you understand, and uh, the better you use the language as well. So that is the point. I am going to create the breakout rooms right now so that everybody can be in their groups. So you will have, let me confirm how much time I can give you, depending on the time that we have available right now. So it's what's the time right now, let me check. 8.40, so I can give you a maximum 20 minutes. Okay, so we come back at nine o'clock. Okay, I'm going to stop by the breakout rooms to check if you need anything. And then we are going to come back and share Okay, what we have. So um, you will have approximately 20 minutes. If necessary, I can give you more, but I will check. So did you take a screenshot? In case you don't have the manual uh, handy, you can take a screenshot and get ready. So I will create the breakout rooms right now. Uh, Francisco, Miguel, and Janari, you will be together. Uh, let me check. Well, I think one of you was having some issues with the connection. Okay, so Floor and Rolando. 
Then we have uh, Laura with Harvin. And Jennifer, Jose, Diana. Okay, I'm going to make a little notification here. And she will go to number nine. Okay, we're ready. One, two, three, and go. Don't forget to take notes, please. I said the invitation to join the breakout rooms. Oh, okay. And I will see you in a moment. Okay, Freddy, Zulema, Merlin, Elizabeth, did you get the invitation? this situation yes what's difficult oh i i have a sleep because my daughter my baby daughter is sick is sick oh i'm sorry about that laura have have fever all night and i cannot sleep with with so it? that's the reason why you are sleepy with her uh-huh got it with her yeah Okay, I hope that she gets better soon. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. We can start. Well, yes. Start. Start. <laughs> the teacher is here. Let's work. <laughs> Aha, I gotcha. <laughs> we, we, were, we were talking about Vista. Teacher. Yeah, teacher. Ah. It's, a, it's a procedure. Yeah, <laughs> okay, it's a procedure. So that's that's you should charge for that, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. We'll... Um, oh, oh and you oh, put oh. the addition, the parts. The... Yeah, that's right. You you're right, you're right, you're right. But I think you need the general information first, like your uh, what about the taxi, the taxes, prevention of accidents before setting a table. Like the time uh -huh. And so you are you are organizing the work. You are organizing the words first in the index, and then you are going to write down the definition. Yes. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. Nope. I think it doesn't affect the results, so that's okay. that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so Jacqueline, I uh, we have to try the, the all the service training model, right? Yes, I I, I gonna I gonna uh, chart uh, the screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. it's better if, if somebody shares the screen. That's right. Yes, and the rest Excuse can me. take notes and give the opinions. Yes, uh, give, me, <laughs> yes. give me one second. Okay. One okay. okay, don't worry. Don't worry, be happy. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you <laughs> see the, the screen? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Hello there. How's everything? Hello. Yeah. Well. Everything's okay? Perfect. Mm -hmm. If you need any help, don't forget yes. to let me know, right? So I can help you out. Okay, yeah. thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Examples include the swan, cornet duck, and a standard decanter. 
will come in a small, medium, and large size. Okay, I think and I think that it's putting in another in another glass, right? Yes, That's put in another say. glass. Mm -hmm. But but when it when the wine is new. Mm -hmm. When the bottle so when you open the, the bottle, bottle, you have you have to put in the other okay uh, out of the bottle. So we before, write this definition. I think it can be. Okay, hunting one. Sorry, you say the addressing customer or? Or setting a table. Setting a table. Yes, maybe. I think that the first uh, topics can be the training of of the of personnel so uh -huh. training the personnel really... can be one of, can be relevant uh, yes so i we we say with anna the first mm -hmm. uh, maybe following the schedule second one dress code the third one i think that could be prevention prevention of accident and safety Mm, that yes, sounds so very important. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. I mean, there is there is no there is no. I mean, you can have different opinions with the other group, right? There is no somebody who is right and somebody who's wrong. The only thing that I need is that when you have the chance to explain your your index, you justify your decision, right? Like why you think this is more important than the other topic? Why is this first? Why is this second? So that's what you have to do, right? But in the end, it, the most important is that you discuss, okay? Which one should go first, which one should go second, and the reasons why. So justify, okay, every every choice that you make. Okay. Yeah. So I, I think that uh, first we can choose Um, I think that the second would be uh, to um, uh, um, target customer, maybe. Um, yes, customer, uh, target, target customer. I don't see it. Mm -hmm. Addressing, addressing, addressing customers. customers. Uh, excuse me? Addressing, addressing customers. customers. That's the one that you said. Addressing. Yes, mm -hmm. addressing customers. Well, what is ad addressing customers? Is to, um, guide, to give the customer uh, to, to the table, I think. Um, no. No, it's when you focus specific to the client, to the clients. Client. Yeah, addressing customer is a way in which you communicate, you approach to the customers. Ah. Uh -huh. That is ad addressing uh -huh, customers. How, okay, how are you going to say hello? How are you going to it is, it is introduce yourself? Uh -huh. It's the a way, way for you... communicating. The way to communicate uh -huh, or to deal with the customers, exactly. That the mm -hmm. employees deal, deal with the customers. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Uh, so you, you got the idea now. Uh, with the customers. Mm. Mm. The, the rest call, I think, should be the one of the first ones because. Teacher? Hello? For, for I have a question. Uh -huh. Do you know if, if, if Zoom have uh, some apps or, or options when we have to share the, sharing, uh, the text? 
share the text. Yes. That everybody is working on the same document. Oh, yes, or only only we can to share a the, the, the screenshot. You can share the screen, yeah. Uh, but if you want to work on a document, for example, mm -hmm. uh, simultaneously, yeah. I would recommend you to use uh, Google Docs. Oh. So if you have if you use Google Docs, you share the the link, for example. Uh, mm -hmm. with somebody and the person can enter the document and yes. start working at the same time. Okay, however, I need to uh, subir a la nube. To no. upload it, to drive. Yeah, to drive, to, yes. uh -huh. yeah, it is necessary. So for example, um, let me check. Mm. I will I will give you a, a quick example. Okay. So I, I asked to... because I have uh, some definition of the the, the activity. Um, mm -hmm. and I would like to to share with my co-workers. With your partners. With my partners, yes. Okay, your classmates. So in this case, I will share the screen quickly. Uh, if you go to, okay, what you do is to go to your email, right? Then you click on the on the six dots right here and the ninth dots right here, mm -hmm. and then you select docs, right? Yes. Documents. So you create one new one, a new one, right? And you mm -hmm. start, for example, setting a table, right? So, and then you start writing the definition. But as you want to okay. share this, or you want to work with other people, okay. uh, that's the name. So, okay, the name of the document will be definitions. Okay, you save it. And then what you do is the settings. Okay, they can mm -hmm. change, they can edit, right, etc. So get a link. Copy okay. the link, and then you share that with uh, in the here in the chat, okay, oh, okay. With, with your with, with your group. So uh, in this case, I will share the, the link with you. Mm -hmm. You check in the chat, you and you open. Oh, and you, okay. And you open the link. Mm -hmm. Click on the on the link yes. that I share. Okay, so I start typing on the document. Open the document and then you start typing simultaneously. Mm. Okay. Did you? Yes, I can see. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. Any person with the link can edit. Okay, I have to change that. Uh huh. Now try to access the link that I share in the chat with you. Click on the link. I try in this moment. Yes. Woo. Okay. Awesome. Now, cracking anonymous. That's you, right? So I can <laughs> share the same link with the rest, right? Uh, and then you start. Um, sharing that i'm going to share that with miguel the same link right so you can work on the document and the same link for janari okay so you have the same document and you are working simultaneously the modifications okay. are saved automatically and later what you can do is to click on uh archive uh -huh. file mm -hmm. here and then you download as a word document and that's okay. it okay Okay, mm. thank you, teacher. It's a, you. Welcome. a great tool. And yeah, it's a really you. good thank tool you. for, for yes. working uh, online with yes. other people. Yes. Yeah, okay, so go ahead. I will leave yes, the document you. there for you. <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, guys, uh, we need to uh, serve the definition. In 
Yeah, you have to hurry. You have to yeah. hurry. I will give you 10 more minutes. Yes, yes, to, yes. To finish. Okay. Well, uh, for example, we're talking about uh, the canting wine. Wine. Um, yes, the canting wine means showing urines. The wine for is borrowed in the different container. Hi, teacher. Hello. Dresco. Did you Dresco. finish? No. In Dresco, yeah. can we put how the employees need to dress up? About cloth. Mm -hmm. You can focus on the clothes and shoes and accessories, maybe. It could be the uh, it could be the 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 four. And then, if you are agree, if you agree, uh, maybe uh, the five address and customer. Or address. I think that the, that could be getting to know the menu. The personnel have to know the menu. It will be better. Getting to know the menu. Okay. I think that uh, they they have to learn before this. Of what what do you think about this? It's okay. Um, the addressing catching personnel is maybe how to talk with the kitchen personnel, how to work with them. I think that is that. It's like a. I don't know, maybe the role to work in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Can you understand what, what's the meaning? Um, what do I teach you stuff? And the six? Well, what do you think of? Of, of who, do, who do, uh, could be better? I think setting a table. Okay. Setting a table. Okay. Setting a table is like make a table, no. No. Yeah, Did basically you? organizing it or set, uh -huh, organizing the table so that it's ready for customers to sit and just wait for their food. That is setting the table. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the six, setting a table, maybe I setting a table, the canteen wire, requesting a chip. Oh, uh, oh, uh, wouldn't it be better uh, about tips and taxes before setting a table? I think this may be the last one about tips and taxes. Why? We could have our money. Um, usually, uh, topics with money is the last because it's difficult and oh, okay. is, and they maybe they don't trust about the employees yet and when they finish of the training they have discipline and they know the all the rules then they 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 can take access with the money. Yes, yes, you are reason. 
I confess about this topic. <laughs> okay. Uh, setting a table. Setting a table. Then could be a, a dressing customer. Yes, no. I have I have addressing customer, the canteen wine and requesting a chief change. Yes, requesting um, the, the last one. Okay. Uh, so you almost finished. Yes, almost. Yes. Okay. After ad that address addressing customer, we said the canting the, wine. The canting wine, yes. Uh, and about tips and taxes, the, the, last, the last one, okay. Hmm. Uh -huh. And number number nine, addressing customer nine, uh, addressing customer. And mm -hmm. number ten, about tips and taxes. Mm -hmm. Teacher, okay. right so you're now, almost done. Uh, right now, oh, I'm oh. I'm select in order the 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 items. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we decide some order. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then we have to to write any any meaning or I don't know what what is follow. Yeah, you 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 that was part of the of the assignment, right? That you defined what each step is about. For example, uh, the addressing customers. What is that? Well, it's the way in which the employees have to deal ten, with and ten. talk to and assist the customers uh -huh. yeah how they, the way that they have to do it so that's a definition right Teacher, but we 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 have to explain the definition that we think about each yeah you each. just have to mention it mm -hmm. about each oh. one yeah we have just to say number one number two number three no it's it's the two things yeah, but you're going to say only some. I'm going to ask randomly about that. So you, you don't have to say all the definitions. Probably I'm going to ask only one to you, another one to another group, and so on. Because we have 10 definitions, and there are approximately five groups right now. Let me check. One, two, three, Teacher, four, five, Teacher, six, but, seven. Yeah. But do, do you know the correct order? from this, this, this manual? Well, in this case, the, the order is not, the term, I mean, it's not established. This uh, oh. is just to check what you think would be the ideal order and the reason why. Okay. So it's, there's no correct or incorrect answer. Ah, here. okay, okay. Uh -huh. this, is, this is our opinion. Yeah, exactly. In, so this is our, for you to, to discuss is, and to make this decisions. Is, this is my, my restaurant. And I, exactly. and I decide this I decide. For, for my restaurant. Yeah, okay. you are the responsible one. <laughs> the <Kim. laughs> 
You can, yeah, think about the name of the restaurant if you want. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it, this is the way that uh, make this funny. <laughs> exactly. Take some notes to get in the menu. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, Sit in a table. Uh huh. You have just one minute. Oh, but we Are finished. Okay, yeah. Okay, so good. Be ready we because I'm about... going to ask you, right? Uh, some okay, questions. teacher. Okay. So we're talking about what? The mistakes of the platform. Ah, okay, got it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For the homework, so, but yeah. we already finished. Excellent, so we're going back in a second. Of, of, the, of the people live with, with no permissions there. Oh my God. Yes. Did when, you finish, when... ladies? Sorry. No. Yes, we... we no, we just finished the, the the last one. Okay, right on time. So I'll see you in the session, in the, in the plenary session. Okay, yeah. Okay, see ya. Oh, did he, oh. What happened, Diana? I was asking for you. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, here I am, I was just walking around. So, uh, well, we're going to move on. Uh, however, something happened and when I was uh, in one of the breakout rooms and I was explaining uh, your classmates that for these kind of activities, for example, it would be a good idea in order to work together or collaboratively uh, in the activities to use technology, right? So in this case, I was, uh, sharing with the group number one yeah group number one about this let me show you so uh one good tool that you can use when you are working with uh with other people online and you have to work in a document or to type or to read together is oh, by no. using docs so a uh, simple way to explain it to you, right, is that um, you have this, let's check. I'm going to go back here. So um, I click here, right, and you look for documents. So here is the new document, right? Uh, everybody has a Gmail account, so it's really easy. Uh, so you have the document, you share, you click share here but you have to write a name. So is this going to be uh, table one, for example? Okay, you save it or you can skip it. And uh, you have to modify the permissions here. So the person that you share the link with to the document with can read, comment or edit. So in this case, editing is the best option. So it's done. So you click again and you click here right get a link or copy a link so i can share that link okay with everybody in the chat for example i'm going to do that right away okay give me just a second so this is pretty easy because everybody can work at the same time okay in the same mm -hmm. document and this the changes are saved automatically and you can add mm -hmm. pictures, you can change the format, you can, you can add a lot of compliments. Uh, so there it is. I share the, the link with you. So you click on the link and automatically you will see that people start accessing or entering the document. So they can start typing here. So please uh, write down in, the, in one line, okay? Uh, the reason why I am learning English is, and give one reason, okay? We're going to do that little experiment. So the reason why I'm learning or studying English, let's say studying English is, and please just write down the reason, okay? So you can say, because I want to, travel around the world 
Okay, so that is the reason that Freddie gives. So in another line, you, a new line, you can uh, type the reason why you are <laughs> studying English. Okay. Good, so we don't know who is writing. Uh, this is something anonymous. So uh, Google gives uh, the, an animal to every person, right? As you can see here, we have an hippopotamus, a hyena, an elephant. Because I want to watch series, because I want to talk with my niece, my nieces, okay, in the USA. Because uh, I want to watch series in English without subtitle, okay? So what is the, the other reason? So automatically everybody's uh, working on the document and when it's ready, let's suppose that you have to present or you have to print it, you just click here and you download the Word document. Okay, you can download as a PDF if you want, but as a Word document so you can make more modifications, right? Um, simple as that. You can but insert. how we know who is writing? <laughs> this is anonymous in this case. Uh, <laughs> <It won. laughs> yeah, anyway, you know that only the people that you share the link with. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because it's really important in my job, okay? Because I want to have a boy. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, let me check. I want to get a better position or a better job, right? A better opportunity. <laughs> okay, so that's that's basically what I wanted to share with you. Now that we are on this vir virtuality, right? Learning about some technological tools can help us a lot. And with Google, you can do the same thing with uh, Google Docs. You can do it with Google Slides or you can use it, uh, Google Sheets, right? That is the equivalent to Excel. Google Slides is PowerPoint. And you have forms for, tri well, for trivias, for exams, for surveys. Uh, there are a lot of tools that you can do uh, collaboratively with other people. So that's the extra, well, the parenthesis that I wanted to make. Uh, so it's not necessary to be face-to-face, -to -face, right? To work together. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing. And let's go on. So I'm going to take the attendance quickly uh, to check who's here and who's not. The first one is Beatriz. Present. Absent. Present. There Present. you are. Elizabeth. <sighs> Elizabeth. Mariela. Present. Brenda is not available today. Uh, Carla. Diana. Here. Floor. I'm here. Francisco. Present. Laura. Present. Arvin. Present. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Juan Jose. I'm here. Karen. Present. Okay, Maritza. Merlin. Miguel Angel. I'm here. Rolando. I'm here. Ruth. I'm here. Suleyma. I'm here. Okay, Janari. I'm here. Jackie. I'm here. Blanca. I'm here. And Freddy's. Freddy's? Okay. I see you drinking water right now. <laughs> That's okay. So uh, quickly, the first group was Francisco, Miguel, and Janari. Can you please tell us uh, what is the index order that you created? Uh, 
Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, tell us, please. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, the index, uh, the first, we put uh, setting a table. Okay. Uh, is the first. Uh, the meeting is uh, uh, in you usually put uh, different uh, kind of food uh, glazes uh, utensil different utensil mm -hmm. this is the, the meaning uh, for the setting a table uh, second uh, for example we put um, the um, uh, the canting the canting wine uh, okay. the the meeting is uh, you can uh, put uh, the wine in another uh, container mm -hmm. like glasses glasses uh, glasses glasses mm -hmm. and um, how do you say copas teacher Cups. 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 Okay. Cups, yeah. Cups. 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 Yes. This is the, the, the meaning. The another another one is uh knowing the menu is really important that uh, the uh, staff in the restaurant know the the menu or when the client or customer ask question about this is uh, answers very quickly about the, the menu. Okay. Um, another uh, the, the, the index, for example, uh, go to the kitchen staff. If when the, the, the client or customer uh, give me the order, I go quickly to send the, the measures, uh, stop the kitchen, or they make the, the food. Good. Um, another one is the um, target, um, no, uh, dress code. Mm -hmm. For example, it is really important that uh, the staff in a, a restaurant uh, check very well uh, your personality. Mm -hmm. uh, is the presentation is is good because the the, the customer is the first you uh, the first uh, they see in a person the the call the dress call. Another one is um, um, accident prevention and safe safety. Uh, in the restaurant, all the staff uh, should should uh, working in your areas in the areas very well because the accident is in uh, is the fast uh, in the in, in in which moment uh, how do you say suceder happen happen that's correct happiness okay happiness okay this is the the index we create, teacher, uh, because okay. the time is the time is uh, it's, it's short. It's not enough. <laughs> okay, <laughs> excellent. Yeah, thank you so much, Francisco and the group number one. Excellent. Thank you. Claps for them, please. We continue with the group number two, that was composed by Diana, Jackie, and Maritza. What is the, the index order that you that you have? 
Anybody? More than one person can speak, right? In, in the group, that's okay. Okay, I'm going to share the screen, teacher. Okay, and I. I'm going to stop sharing, yes. Perfect. Now you can do it. Okay, we were talking about um, the manual uh, to organize the topics to create the index. And we think that dress code is the first one. It's one of, uh, it's, it's important. Then you have to follow in the schedule you have to re uh, know about the about requesting a shift change. For example, when will be the day off? Or when or what are the steps that you have to follow to change someday? If you have to another thing to do. Getting to know the menu. And we are the waiter or the waiters has to know the menu. We think that was memorized and they have to answer. They have to be um, um, prepared to answer any question. Addressing kids and personnel, you have to know who is the chef, who are the uh, the person, the people who is working in the kitchen, who is the manager, and the staff that work in the restaurant. Addressing customers, mm, the way that you have to greet the customers when they are in the restaurant. Setting a table, it's when you prepare the table with a cloth, and the order that you have to put the dishes, the spoons, the um, forks, and knife. I don't know if that's correct, this word. And after that, the canteen wine. And about tips and taxes, it's important to know about this. And the last part, prevention of accidents and safety, because it will be, well, it's important to prevent uh, that you throw out the hot soup uh, into the clothes of the customers. And that's it. I don't know if Diana can add something. Hello. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. You hear me now? Yes. <laughs> sorry. Okay. I I think it, it was very good exp explanation. Okay. Yeah. I think it was it was clear. So thank you so much. Group number two. Uh, we have Maritza, Diana, and Jackie. Thank you so much. Class for them. See you play. And group number three, it was only two people, uh, Flor and Rolando. Please let us know what index order you selected for these procedures. Okay. <laughs> do it, Flor, please. <laughs> you do it. Do, do it, Flor. Okay. <laughs> okay, the the order that we have is number one, rest go, number two, following the schedule, mm -hmm. number three, requesting a shift change, number four, prevention of accidents and safety, number five, sitting at table, number six, the counting wine, number seven, mm -hmm. getting to know the menu, 
Number eight, addressing tips and personal. Number nine, addressing customers. And number 10, about tips and tactics. Okay, so one of the last ones in your opinion was uh, addressing the customers, right? Yeah, yes. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it. I don't know if you would like to explain any any of those procedures in particular, uh, Rolando, maybe? Yeah. About the order. For, for us, um, it's really important uh, uh, the prevention of accident and safety uh -huh. because uh, we the, the 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 manager or the owner to the restaurant want to to have in a good condition all the employees yeah, yeah. And, and it's necessary in in our case that the people or their employees have a good prevention yeah exactly yeah and in the another um that is important is uh, addressing the uh, customer because all in on the in the restaurant it could be fine but if the employee or if the writers is not good or don't attend uh, polite to the customer it's not function, uh, the, the, the restaurant not function. Yeah, it's yeah. our opinion. Okay. Well, yeah, totally agree. And actually, uh, well, I'm going to use the reactions. Don't forget about that. Actually, something that I was telling in the breakout rooms, right, is that there is not a specific order or established or determined uh, order of the index. Because in the end, every, every group was going to have their own opinion. Maybe for uh, Rolando and Floor, uh, customer service or co addressing customer uh, was one of the last ones. But for Miguel's group, that, that was one of the first ones because the customer is really important and the, and the employees need to know about that from the beginning. Maybe, right? So it's about opinions. So, all the answers are correct, or the possible orders are correct. So uh, the next breakout room was uh, Ana Beatriz, Freddy, and Suleiman. I think Beatriz and, and Freddy, uh, any of you can share with us? Freddy, would you, would you mind explaining, please? I always do poorly, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first, dress code. Dress code. Yeah. Addressing kitchen personal. The third one, getting to know the menu. The fourth one, following the schedule. The fifth one, requesting a shift change. Number six, prevention of accidents and safety. Number seven, setting a table. Number eight, addressing customer. Number nine, decanting wine. And number 10, about tips and taxes. Okay. It has to be the last one. You have to win the tips. <laughs> okay, excellent. That, that's a good point, right? You have to learn how to win those tips, how to earn them. So uh, thank you so much, a reaction for them, please. That was a very precise and straight to the point explanation of their index. So we're going to move on with the group number five. That was Blanca and Karen. Okay, we made definition for every step, I don't know. Uh, for example, setting a table, mm -hmm. we put the definition of prepare the table for the customer. Uh, when, when the, I don't know, the waiter received to the customer, I think that it was the first step that, that he had to do. Uh, 
Well, the canteen, the, the, the canteen. The canteen, uh -huh. The canteen wine. Uh, we put a definition that we found that means uh, put it slowly, slowly putting the wine from its bottle into a different container without disturbing the sediments at the bottom. Ah, that is a, a, a you know, procedure that, that is functional for the restaurant that has that kind of, of drink because there is restaurant that doesn't have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Requesting a shift change is more for the personnel of the restaurant because it's a change of the schedule. And they have to do these procedures when I don't know where when they have a, an activity in the the schedule that that or in the ship that it was how to say that well the the, the manager put the, the schedule for the person and and, mm -hmm. and the person have to change it because I don't know have a commitment in in that in that personal commitment schedule so yeah, in this yeah. case, uh, you can go on only with, with the procedures, uh, maybe Blanca, because at the end, I'm going to check what definitions uh, you have for, for, for each okay, term. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. okay. So after okay. changing shifts or requesting, a, uh, okay. what do you have? Uh, addressing kitchen personnel because the, I don't know, the manager have to talk in and give this, the, the instructions for the personnel. Mm, when, for the personnel, huh? Uh -huh when, after, no, before they start all the activities of the restaurant. Yes. You know, when are a new, a new employees, they have to get into know the menu, explain the content yeah. of the menu. I think that it's, one of the important um, procedures too. The dress code is uh, important too because they have to dress in the right way when they are in work. And I don't know what. Maybe Karen help me. Uh, the last ones um, about tips and taxes are extra charges that in the restaurant bill and the last one prevention of accidents and safety it's make some actions to and follow procedures in order to avoid accidents okay so that will be the last one yeah excellent karen so you have better connection now um let me check after you well don't forget reactions. That's how every group uh, obviously is making the effort, right, to share their order. So uh, for the index is the group number, let me check, I think it's number six. If I'm not mistaken, mm, no, that's number seven. So Mariela and Ruth. Ladies. Well, we choose the, the first one, dress code, because they can take the rest of the training wearing the dress code and then they can to get accustomed. Um, the second one, following the schedule, because they need respect the schedule to maintain order in the workshop and harmony with your, their co-workers. Then, Prevention of accidents and safety because they mm -hmm. need to know how to avoid accident or know what to do in case it happens. Mm -hmm. uh, next, addressing kitchen personnel. Um, next, What's getting next? To addressing kitchen personnel. Uh huh. After that, 
Getting to know the menu. Getting to know the menu, good. Setting a table because they need to learn to how to organize the table mm -hmm. according and addressing customer and nice. decanting wine, requesting a chief change mm -hmm. and about tips and taxes. Tips and taxes, okay, that's right. Thank you so much, Mariela and Brut. Excellent, let me go on with the ta-da. And I think that we're missing just one more group or two, two. So Harbin and uh, can you share with us? Okay, teacher, uh, we decided to make the index in that order for two reasons. The first reason is for responsibilities because when mm -hmm. you want to get a, a job, you have to know your responsibility. And this include sitting at the table, getting to know the menu, decanting wife, dress code, follow the schedule, request a chief change. And the second reason was for uh, the depends of the rules of the training that the restaurant give to you. And that include uh, addressing kitchen personnel, address customer, prevention of accident and safety. And the last one about it, taxes. Okay, hear me? I think that I had some issues with the with the speaker and the headphones. Okay, so uh, next one in the last one. Thank you, Harvin. I'm going to use the reaction in the moment because uh, for some reason I cannot click on them. And the last one was Jennifer and Juan Jose. So Juan Jose was a volunteer. I think he was raising his hand. Okay, Jennifer, uh, can you share the uh, speaking action? Okay, uh, number one, uh, the score, it is the rules uh, to decay to the employees how they should dress uh, their clothes. Prevention of accident and safety. Make sure that everything at the restaurant is in a place where it cannot cause accident and follow prevention step. And number three, requesting a, requesting a shift change. It is to request a change for shift. And number four, following the schedule. A specific time for activities to do. Setting a table. It is said it really to the customer with the necessary things like fork, knife, spoon, etc. Uh, six, addressing customer. It is the way to communicate to deal with the customer. Uh, getting to know the menu. It is to show or let to customer now the, the menu promotion or any offer. Uh, addressing kitchen personnel, it is the communication with the kitchen personnel, or example, when you tell them that um, the customer request. The canteen, the canteen wine, it is a date, the favor of the wine. About the tips and taxes, um, it, is, um, it is tell to the customer how much they should pay for the service with the date or taxes, Tips that uh, usually is show only in each ticket. It's all. Okay, thank you so much. A round of applause for the final group, please. And let's go on. So now I, I want to know exactly what definitions you have. So I'm going to ask different definitions to different groups. So from the group number one, Francisco, Miguel, and Gennady, what do you have for 
as a definition for setting the table. Maybe Miguel can share uh, that definition. Hey teacher, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Okay. Uh, for example, we share uh, the meaning uh, to place an arranged team to be used with eating a meal, such as a plate, food, uh, different uh, uh, food, utensils, glasses, napkins, glasses, glasses, glasses excuse me, uh -huh. glasses, napkins. Na napkins, and another elements. Uh, you can put in a table this is the definition teacher okay so i like it uh thank you so much group number two uh diana already sure okay i think no diana didn't sure it was jackie so uh maritza or diana what is the definition that you have for decanting wine tasting the all the kind of wine we have to know what we can offer to the customers. Tasting the wine. Mm -hmm. I think some other groups have a different definition. Let me com let me compare. What do you have for that one? Uh, group number three, Flora and Rolando. What do you have for the canting wine? I'm going to share the screen so that you can see the definitions one more time. Or, well, you can see the terms one more time. Yes, it's put, uh, put the wine in a, in a cup uh -huh. or in another uh, glass. Or container. Or container. Could be. How you, you serve the wine. Okay, oh, so... Yeah. That would be the canteen wine. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, from the group number three, uh, we had, let me check. What's wrong with my headphones today? We we are the number three teacher. Yeah, you are number three. Number four uh, is Ana Beatriz, Freddy's, and Suleyma. What do you have for requesting a shift change? Well, I think that Blanc already mentioned this one. Um, so I'm going to ask you about following the schedule. Is following the rules about time. About time. Okay, about the, what time? <laughs> what specific time? Uh, To mm -hmm. be on time. Okay, the time that you're supposed to be at the at the place, right? At, at the work at the workplace, and yeah. the time that you finish, right? That you, that you leave. So let's move on. And the next one is the room number five. So in the room number five, we had Blanca and Karen. What do you have for get well addressing kitchen personnel? What is the definition you have for that one? We kitchen personnel Ta talking and give the instructions for the personnel. <laughs> that's that's all. The personnel that works at the kitchen. Okay, works yeah, in the kitchen. Yeah, the personnel that works in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, got it. That was a very technical definition. Uh, let's go on. The next one. Uh, Ana Mariela and Ruth, what is the definition that you have for getting to know the menu? The same, know the menu. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, that, that was that was funny. Uh, just familiarizing, right? Memorizing or learning the different uh, items or the different 
uh, types of food and drinks included in, um, in the menu, right? Um, you can use your own words. I mean, you don't have to look for a technical definition, right? Uh, Harbin, what is the definition? Harbin or Merlin or Elizabeth, what is the definition that you have for dress code? We have the, as a meaning teacher, is the correct way that the employer has to dress. Okay, the correct, the correct way that employee has to dress. Yes, including a lot of elements, right? Not only clothes, but shoes, accessories, the appearance, right? About wearing makeup for women, the, the hair for the men, and so on. So good, thank you so much. Uh, Jennifer or Juan Jose, what is the definition that you have for addressing customers? Just one second. Okay. Please. Addressing customer is the way to communicate or to deal with the customers. Okay. Uh, can you help us with the next one about tips and taxes? Yes. Mm -hmm. it's, it is tell to the customer how much they should pay for the service with details of access tips and that usually shown in a ticket. Or it's usually in shown a, in a ticket. Uh -huh. In an invoice. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, normally it's, it's in a ticket, right? Or in a receipt, in a receipt. Uh, and then uh, the last one is prevention of accidents and safety. Anybody else who wants to participate and give a definition for that one? Anyone? Hello. Okay, go ahead, please. To identify hazard. To identify or identify hazards. Yeah. For Will example? A program to identify hazard. Okay. Yeah, why not? Uh, Another one? Somebody else wants to add to that definition? Teacher, we have a, a definition and we write that is to make sure that everything at the restaurant, it is in a place that cannot cause any damage to any client or customer or employees. That's very complex. Uh, I guess, yes, that, that would be really important. So I am going to share with you just one quick poll, okay, uh, about... An opinion, an opinion. So based on the example that we just did right now, so we had 10 different procedures and... Uh, Just to have your idea, right? And one more. Here. Are you writing? Uh, typing? Typing, yes. I Wait don't see anything. Oh. Uh, no, not right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to share it with you right away. I just wanted to add one more option. Getting... That's the answer or your opinion? We don't know what's the right answer. No, the it's... Correct order. Let me share this with you. So I will go with the poll. Procedures. 
launch poll, and right now. So which of these is the most important procedure in your opinion? Safety, addressing customers, setting the table, dress code, or getting to know the menu? Like if it is the top, the number one that you think that has to be uh, explained or has to be taught to the, to the employees. Okay, choose one. And then automatically we're going to see the order, right? Which one mm. is first, which one is second, third, and four, and, and five, right? <laughs> that was confusing. <laughs> so? Are we to choose just one? Yes, just one. Okay. The survey was confused. Safety? God. Okay, so so far 14 people have voted out of 20. So we need more votes, more votes. Please select one of the options. Safety, addressing customers, setting the table, dress code, or getting to know the menu. Okay, 15 people out of 20. So that's 75% of the class, good. So based on the preliminary results, uh, safety is in the first place. Addressing customer is in the second place. The third and fourth place are uh, divided between, well, a dress code and getting to know the menu. And the last one is setting the table. So 16 people voted. I'm going to pass the poll. I'm going to stop the poll or end the poll and show you the results. Okay. Mm -hmm. So eight people think that safety is first. Four people addressing customers, dress code and getting to know the menu two and two and setting the table, no one. So that would be the number five. Okay. So this is just to give you an idea, right? And yes, I agree with you. Uh, this would be a really good order. Um, I think that getting to know the menu is more relevant than the dress code because the dress code is something that you learn really quickly. And setting the table, yeah, it's one of the last ones. So good, thank you so much for, for your answers, for participating on the poll. And right now we're going to check who's still here at, at this time. So, okay, uh, Freddy's, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Uh, Rolando, uh, yesterday was your turn to stay after the class, but uh, Mariela stay in your place, so I don't know if we can stay tonight. Okay. Yep, okay, Blanca, thank you. I'm here. Jackie? Hmm. I'm here. Then we have uh, Yanari. I'm here. Suleyma. Here. Ruth. Rolando. I'm here. Miguel Angel. I'm here, teacher. Okay, perfect. Maritza? I'm here, teacher. Nice. Thank you. Karen? Present. Juan Jose? I am here. Jennifer? I'm here, teacher. Then we have... Uh, Arvin. I am here. Too. Laura. I'm here. Francisco. Present teacher. Floor. I'm here, teacher. Diana. Present. Carla. Well, Brenda was not able to make it today. Uh, Mariela. 
Present. Elizabeth. I'm here. And Beatriz. I'm here. Okay, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. It was my pleasure to be with you on this session. I think that that will be all for today. We're going to, um, well, tomorrow we're about to finish. We're about to finish with the, with the units. And uh, we're going to move, continue with the next category for the trivia, that is science. And we're going to focus a little bit more on reading, okay? I am preparing everything for you to practice more reading. So hopefully tomorrow we're going to start with that. Um, so if you don't have it, well, I don't know if you have any questions or comments before we finish the class. Just if you can check the platform. Yes, uh, you sent me the message and I already, uh, well, Probably not at this time, but tomorrow morning, I'm going to send this uh, screenshot one more time to see if they can modify it. Uh, hopefully we're in the week three, so we still can modify things and you can get a better score. And if there is any other issue, please mm -mm. don't hesitate to contact me or anybody, right? From Inglés okay. Cooperativo. Okay, guys, so uh, let me stop sharing so I can see you and your beautiful smiles. Thank you so much. Have a good night. And I'll good see night. you tomorrow. God willing. See you tomorrow. Take care of yourself. Good see night, you tomorrow. everybody. Bye. 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 Sayonara. <laughs> Sayonara. Well, what we can do? That's the question. Yeah. To be or not to be? <laughs> Today I learned, let me be. <laughs> <laughs> Who taught with, you that? With Flor. Flor. When, when we talk about to, to own restaurant, mm -hmm. and the, this is the way that we have to be funny this exercise, I told her, and mm -hmm. she say me, okay, let me be. <laughs> well, teacher, I don't know, I don't have a question for that moment to, do, to ask you, because actually I don't really understand all the class that you yeah, and I make the platform, and I don't have any problem. Yeah, I saw yesterday with the chat to Ruth and Brenda, and they clarify me the problem with exercise. This exercise, mm -hmm. yeah, and I don't know. I think this. I don't have problem. Maybe we can. Maybe we can take a, We can take a look at that because um, I noticed that other people were having issues too. So um, that was with the exercise 2.11, I think. Is two point, I will tell you, 11, yeah. Yeah, but, but is um, for exercise number, uh, number two. Mm -hmm. no, I don't, yeah, I think it is the, the section the, two, unit two. Um, is, is exercise, is the homework 2.11. Yeah, 2.11. Yeah, in the exercise that they have problem was the number two, but no, the number, yeah, the number two, but I saw yesterday the, the, the chat, the group, the the chat, mm -hmm. and Brenda explained to Ruth how to can how you, how she can do, mm -hmm. yeah, and I try to do, and I don't have mistake. Let me see. Mm -hmm. So this is the one that you were you were talking about, right? Yeah. 
But I don't know if I, if, if I have another problem. So in which order do you write it down? Would you Let prefer to have a different schedule? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, what do you have for number two? Let me see. Uh, would, would, wouldn't he? It's correct to say, wouldn't he? Wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't it? Wouldn't. Wouldn't, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? He, but if wouldn't he, no, it's correct. Yeah, you can say that. Sounds more like British, but yeah. Wouldn't I? I always have problem with the um, with the apostrophe. Apostrophe. I don't have. I have my my computer, mm -hmm. but I don't have. I don't know what is the correct is a symbol. Key. The correct key for the for the, the for, for, yeah. for that for, symbol is yeah. usually yeah. next to the zero to the next right. To, ah, let me check. No. Ah, okay. Would, would it be? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't, wouldn't it, it be better? Be better. Better. Uh huh. Uh, to release, to revise, revise the manual before printing. To revise the manual before printing. Uh -huh. Number three. Or printing. Take me wait a minute. Printing. Number three is woo. No. Yeah. Woo. Uh, would would it no? Will will be? You would, would be. We we will we be good? Would, um. Or no. Will it be good if in we? In this case, it's a sentence. Ah, yeah. It would. Be it, good. It will be good. Uh, if if we, we uh -huh. change if we change no if we change, change it, the dress code. But where is the it? Where I'm where I will put it will be good if we will uh -huh. be good if if we it change the other the dress code yeah it change the dress code it's in dot uh huh number 4 is will be Will be it to have. Okay, it would be it a good idea to have a training manual manual for chess. It will be. A good idea to will be have manual for be chess. If will be, if will be it a good idea to have? A, no, I don't know. Could you repeat? Okay, it would be a good idea to. Ah, have, it will be. It will it be. It would be a good idea. It will be a good idea. 
Yeah. To have. To have. A uh -huh. training. Uh, manual. A training manual for chef. For chef. Okay. Manual. Chef. Mm -hmm. Chef. Guess chefs. Chefs. What is chefs? It's the plural of chef. Ah. Okay. Thank you. I don't. I don't know this word. Chef. And number five. Uh huh. Uh, it won't. It won't. Won't. This is a question. Ah, yeah. Mm. When it's a question, the the subject is first. The auxiliary is first. The auxiliary. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the auxiliary? Wouldn't. Ah, wouldn't. Wouldn't. Uh -huh. Then we use a subject. In this case, wouldn't it? Wouldn't. Wouldn't it? It. It. Ah, uh -huh. wouldn't it? The verb. Be. Be. The complement. Better. 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 To. To let. Let. The manager. Manager. Decide. 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 And uh, because of the space here, there is a little space, as you see. Ah. So we have to leave a space question. and question mark. Question mark. Ah, it's, mm -hmm. ah yeah. It's necessary to put the, the to have the, the, space. the space. So I'm okay. going to check. Let me see if I have a. No. I can because I have to complete all the exercise. So, yeah, but in this case, would you prefer to have a different schedule? Wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? That's correct. It would be good if we change the dress code. It would be a good idea to have a training for a training manual for chefs. Uh -huh. And uh, wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? So, that is the correct. Those are the correct answers. Okay, teacher. Good. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Yeah. And if I will have another another trouble with this exercise, I will ask you. But okay. I'm, I'm not sure if it's correct to ask you to the you you always check the the group, the course group. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I, and then I will ask for that way. Okay. Yeah, if I have another Perfect. another trouble. Yeah. And really thank teacher. I really like your class. Yeah. Uh, uh, yesterday I can't stay at class because I have to, to work. Yeah, and I. Oh, to, okay. This week I think that that uh, I will have the same problem because I'm I'm make a test in my in the machine and and mm. we have some trouble yeah and i it's necessary that i stay at the company but i will connect with from my cell phone and i will try to to participate how to say participate participate yeah and i have to participate when i can okay perfect yeah you can do your best try to connect right to be online in the session and whenever possible you can participate Okay, teacher, thank you okay, for all. You're welcome. And, and okay, we'll stay here. Okay, yeah, I, have I, a good night, man. Okay. Good to nice, see you. Have, nice to see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, bye-bye. Bye-bye.